Hello and welcome to week 8 of the National Hunt Starters Orders League. And obviously day 1 where we've got 12 races coming to you and where we're going to start over at Newbury where I've got 3 races to call home. We're going to start with the 2 mile handicap hurdle that will open the day. The Levy Bald, and there's a fairly big field there. I think there's a 20 plus runners. I think there's a good chance that uh, anything could win that one. It's open to the four year olds as well. I think most horses will get round. You've got a few in there. You've got Francis Drake of Kevin Meanhand, has got some form at the moment, came second and first last time out. Got Lau Kiki Cookie of Darren House, it's a previous winner. Samoa Sabbath for Molly at Surfer, coming in off the back of a win. And Mary Junior for Graham Clutterbuck. But good to see the four year olds going up against the five year olds in a handicap, so good luck with that one. That'll be followed up by race three, which is the Cello Novices. There's a group one hurdle over two mile fives. Small field there, just eight go to post. Meandre for Paul Rhodes. His form's been a bit flip floppy. Deer Hunter of Joshua Sutherland's come into a little bit of form. And then we've got Aquastar from Thundersmark on you. It's third time out. And John Morgan's Hatton's Grace, who came third and only having his second run, so could really be anything. Then we move on to Cheltenham, where Doug Warren will be calling them home. And he's got a couple of races from there. We've got a two mile five G2 novice chase, where only six go to post. Their Kingdom of Adlaw for Joshua Sutherland, who's hit some bad form of late, pulled up and a, and a six, unlike his. Graham Clutterbuck, St David's Days, unseated his rider in the last couple. Tainty Tin of Stu Gray. Uh, I know the trainer likes that one. Lebadotti of Darren Thompson's just hitting some form. Fourth and uh, a second. The last two, his first two races out. And then we've got Hollywood broke the gate for Derek Hinton. A man from Afghanistan for Martin Leadham. So I imagine that will be probably a winner from the top four there. Then he finishes up at Cheltenham with the New Year handicap chase. To 12 go to post there. Form for whip hand for Martin Leadham winner last week and then we got Frank and Furter for Kevin Meadahan that's also a previous winner Dan City Yellow for Stu Gray fallen on his last couple of starts but it was a winner prior to that Molto Stupido for Molly at Surfer he was a winner of the G2 handicap old Roan Chase and then he was second in the Clonmelt not always particularly done well in handicaps and then Joshua Sutherland brings a fairly new horse into the race as well chased the record had two starts a third and uh, nowhere so anything could win that but you got Darren Thompson San Yorkin which has hit some form of late second and third the last two times out then we're going to move over to Sandown where the conditions are heavy so it'll be a big leveler for everybody I'll be there and I'll start with the Anne Boleyn's Mayor's Hurdle over two mile four it's a listed small field there just seven go to post you'd have to be looking at probably Miss Scotland of Paul Rhodes got a little bit of form Black Benny of Molliot's and Zombie of Joshua Sutherland hasn't has this previous three starts not run particularly well and not really a fan of the heavy conditions. Thunder Sparks talks group only one run came fourth got to have a chance a knack of Graham Clutterbuck he's only his third start been in the money the last two races so good luck with that one got a chance. Then we've got the Tolworth novices another G1 over the extended two miles small field here again just eight go to post some talented horses in there two 150 rated hurdlers the last stand of Derek Hinton the Irish King from Joshua Sutherland and then you've got Moonshell Knight of Graham Clutterbuck there's a winner last time out Frosty Flame for Thunderspark a winner last time out and Paul Road brings out Golden Highway for just its second run of the season where it was in the money on its previous start then the Race 8, which is the Silly Isles Novices Chase. It's again, it's a G1 over an extended 2 mile 4. 7 uh, go to post there. And there's 6 previous winners in this race. And they're all hitting some form. So it probably could be the Cracker Jack race of the week. But the heavy conditions may well lever it up. You've got Moo Moo Vodka for John Morgan. 2 starts, 2 wins, looking for its hat trick. Darren Thompson's Torfian Street. Again, the last three races, some really good form. Fantastic for Joshua Southern, previous winner. Chestnut Surprise for Paul Rhodes, previous winner. Thunder Sparks Converso, and he had two starts, a first and a third. And even Martin Leedon's Gemini Suite at the bottom was a winner three races back. That moves us on to race nine, and that's just the HBLB handicap chase. Uh, a, a nice big field there. Anything could win it. As I said, the, the heavy conditions will uh, make a big difference to a lot of these races. Top of the weights will be Paul Rhodes, executive director, and just being just a pound less will be all gate put for Kyle Arrogante, known front runner, won its last race out, looking to follow up, but looks like it prefers a firmer ground than the heavy that we're going to get today. Then we move on to Warwick, where Martin will be calling home the last three races of the day. He'll start with a Warwick novices chase over three miles. A small field there, just uh, nine of them, and uh, plenty of previous winners in there. In fact, all nine of them have won a race before. There's actually eight, sorry, my apologies. We scratched one just very quickly there. You've got the Aristocrat 
Blah. The Aristocrat for Kevin Meanham, winner last time out. Triple Play for Thunder Sparkle, winner last time out. Rambling Rhapsody for John Morgan, fell last time out, but it was a winner previously. Hot Port for Paul Rose, a winner previously. Battle of the Hot Gates for Joshua Sutton, a winner last time out. Aero Love for Molly at Surfer, bit uh, scratchy form, but has also previously won. Pulling your leg for Graham Clutterbuck. Fall in the last couple of races, so hoping to stay on his feet here. And then Summertime Blues for Derek Hinton has, had, has come first and second in its last two races. Then race 11 is the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle Qualifier. It's uh, leg four. A really nice big field there. Bit of a mixed match of runners. Paddy's return of John Morgan comes into it from just one run previously where he came fifth. Eighth's the conclusion for Joshua Sutherland's hit some form. Got Molly at Sir for Opera Love. Two starts, two pull-ups. We'll be hoping to finish. Half supreme down the bottom for Derek Hinton's a previous winner. So I think that's a fairly open race there. And then the last race of the day will be the uh, classic handicap chase. Again at Warwick over three mile five, where you've probably got a few horses in there that will be looking go to the national as we know. But Molly at Surfer San Soin was only one previous race, came third. W again for Kevin Meanahan looking for a double. Eyes to the right of Graham Plateau, also a previous winner last week. And at the bottom we got now and then. Won two races already for Martin Leland this season. But Sounds of the Marina's in there for Darren Thompson. It's rated 150. Will be top of the weights, but it's hit some form. And I think was really unlucky last week coming in second in a bit of a head bob over, I think, a better class of race. That's it for the day. That's your 12 races. Um, just as a quickie. I'd like to know if anybody actually does listen to these intros, really because time's becoming a little bit short of late with the Starters Orders League uh, volunteer stuff. So what I'm going to do, as you can hear, I always have a bit of a theme tune playing in the background. Answers on a postcard. What's the theme tune that's playing in the background here? You can stick it in the forum with your weekly reactions, just as a little PS, just to give me an idea if you've actually listened or not. So anyway, have a good day, and I'll probably catch up with you all tomorrow. Goodbye for now.